Right, another day. Morning. And it's actually morning this time, so we're gonna have a full day at it. Um, and that's good, because we might need to take the ridge off this garage, because uh, we've got nearly the last row of tiles up there, so it could be a bit tight. Um, so that might take a little bit longer than I thought. So let's crack on. Right, well that's the ridge tiles all off and the rail mounts all done. The ridge tiles didn't put up much of a fight, in fact there was cracks and they were a bit loose anyway, so probably not a bad thing that we're actually having to um, do a bit of work on them as well. Um, the reason we had to take the ridge tiles off was because there was just nowhere to push the tiles above um, uh, where we needed to mount the rails. Uh, so basically the, the ridge stops the tiles moving up because there's no more it's a, uh, cemented to it. Um, so we're going to um, we're just going to mix up some mortar and put them back when we're when we're finished. But we'll get all of the tiles cut, the roof back together, and then we'll uh, mix up some mortar and then we'll reset the ridge tiles um, and then we can put the rail on and then we're free to do the uh, what it, what electrics there is to do up here, which is just basically put the string uh, and cable tie the string of uh, connectors in. Then we can put the micro inverters on. Then the panels can go on if it's not too windy. Um, the main problem here is actually um, it's a bit blowy today. Um, these things are massive. Uh, they're not very heavy, but they, they will catch the wind and they will go. So if it's too windy, that's going to be what sort of stops us today. I think, I think we're going to crack on with this, get it done. We've got plenty of time. Um, but yeah, if it's too windy by the time we've, we've finished everything else, then we might just have to wait until a, a calm day to actually put the, the, put the panels on. But the panels themselves should go on very quickly. Alright, so I bought the wrong tool the other day. Sorry if it's windy, it's a bit windy today. Don't buy these. Buy that diamond blade. In my defence, Screwfix didn't actually have them in stock uh, when I went to get some discs, so I just bought a load of those other discs, but they just take so long to cut this stuff. Um, I've literally just spent like maybe three, four minutes cutting these top five tiles and it's gone through them like a knife through butter. So diamond is the way to go. Well, it's turned a bit wet out there, but we managed to get the ridge all back together and um, pointed up. So we should be done with that. Um, it was a very boring job. Um, but now that's done, um, the last rail's on. We can now just go about putting the solar panels back on. Uh, hopefully it won't rain too much uh, because uh, I don't want my, uh, my, all my pointing to be ruined. But uh, if it does, then we'll have to put a tarp over it and, uh, and, and uh, and keep it down with some uh, spare roof tiles that we've got but um, that's it not very exciting today unfortunately but at least we got that all done and we've made up for the uh, for the for the nightmare that we had the other day so roll on tomorrow
All right, another day. So it did rain quite a lot last night. So uh, we uh, we had to cover it up in the end. We had to cover the ridge tiles up. Um, also, my um, camera completely failed to record most of yesterday. So to be honest, I think it's done you a favor because laying ridge tiles is probably the most boring thing on the planet, apart from watching paint dry, which, which we can do as well. We can show you that. Um, but today's going to be a better day. Uh, we are going to put the panels back on. Yes. So we can get some uh, we can get some energy back into the Zappy and back into the Zoe and back into the central heating system because uh, we've also got iBoost. So we can get some uh, hot water as well. So let's crack on. Here are the bits. We've got this string, so this is just a continuous string, and um, intervals along the wire, along this, along this wire. There's these um, connectors, and that's where the microinverters plug in. Um, here are the microinverters, and there's the plug. Uh, obviously, very weatherproof. Um, and once they're in, they need that special tool uh, to undo them. Then we've got the bolts uh, that go onto the rail. Uh, the, each microinverter. Each micro inverter has a, has a fixing point uh, or a number of fixing points, but they only used one um, to put the uh, inverters on the rail. They plug into that, so this goes on first. Then those, um, once these are on, these have got two plugs, which obviously you can't get wrong around the wrong way, um, which uh, the panels go into. And then for the system to work, it needs to be uh, wired into the mains, and the mains needs to be live. Uh, so this is what's called a grid tied system. So it will not generate any electricity um, unless it's plugged into the mains. So there we go. There's most of the string done. Uh, a couple more cable ties to go in, but that's um, just got rid of the trip hazard and stuff. Uh, there's the uh, entry point there. That's probably going to come off that one. Uh, there's not quite enough cable, um, but we can uh, we can work around that. Um, just got to cut a tile so that the wire can go into the roof. Um, then we can put the micro uh, micro inverters on. So there we go, we're all done. Hope you enjoyed watching that and were mildly entertained. We've got some more to do here. Um, there's another seven panels to go back on this roof, but we can't do that until the builders have finished their work really. So um, yeah, if you liked it, give us a like, subscribe. There'll be other interesting stuff going on, I'm sure, in the future. So stay tuned. That's weird, because our solar panels are not connected at the moment, so I think we might have the inductive clamp round the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs>